Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about how to beat inflation at the grocery store. So if you eat food, I'm sure you've noticed it costs more than it used to. And if you eat meat, I'm sure you've really noticed a difference in the price. Over the past year, steak has gone up about 17%. Pork products have gone up about 15%. Ground beef has gone up about 13%. And chicken has gone up about 10%. So many Americans are trying to find a way to save some money. The first tip I'll give you on how to save money is by actually eating all of the food you buy. Now I know at least for me, I typically go to the grocery store, I'm hungry, I buy a lot of food, then I get home and I'm like, oh, I don't really want any of this. And then a lot of it goes to waste. So if you just eat all of it, you'll save money by buying less food. And I'm not sure if you've heard the commercials, but there's a save the food commercial that I hear on the radio all the time. And it's a person scraping off a plate and it's super annoying. But they've been trying to get Americans to eat all of their food for a long time now. The next tip is really similar. It's buy food that's already frozen or freeze it when you get home. So a lot of the time when you buy food that's already frozen, it's gonna be a lot cheaper than the unfrozen version and it will last a long time when you get home. The third tip I would have for you is to use coupons. So if you've seen the show Extreme Couponers where they go to the grocery store with like 500 coupons and then they get roughly $500 of food for like $2, but it's all completely useless items. That's not exactly what I'm saying. What I am saying is just use the coupons that they give you. For example, if you go to Kroger all the time and you set up the free account to get the gas points, then after a few weeks they'll have targeted coupons just for you. So that means it's food that you actually wanna buy and they're giving you a discount. All you have to do is go on the app and actually turn the coupon on and you'll save money just like that. I know most of the time that I go to the grocery store, I save like 20 or so dollars from discounts slash coupons. The fourth item is to make a grocery list. So if you go to the grocery store with an exact list, you know exactly what you're gonna buy. However, if you just walk in without a plan and then you walk down the cookie aisle and you get some Oreos and then you walk down the chip aisle and you get like three different types of chips cause you want Doritos, but you also want Cheetos and you also want tortilla chips. And then you're gonna end up getting all this food that you don't need. Even worse is if the bakery has something on sale. Cause if it's on sale, you have to buy it. So I always end up with about half stuff that I planned on getting and about half stuff that just look good at the moment. So if you just have a grocery list and stick to it, you won't end up buying all this food you don't need. So if you've made it this far in the video, please consider subscribing for daily videos. It would make me very happy. And if you don't subscribe, it will make me very sad. But back to the video. The next way to save money at the grocery store is something that we probably won't all like. And that's by changing what you buy because different foods have gone up at different rates. So if you buy foods that have gone up less over the past year, you can save money that way. Some examples are good like potatoes and cheese and then some are not so good such as vegetables. So even a pandemic and inflation can't get Americans to buy vegetables. So I know we all hate them, but it is a little bit cheaper. The next way to save money at the grocery store is by buying generic foods. So it doesn't work for everything, but for a lot of the items, the generic version tastes just as good and is a few dollars cheaper. And then the last way that I saw on how to save money on food is by growing your own food. However, I'm not so sure about this because the people I know who grow their own food spend a lot more on it than if they just went and bought a few tomatoes at the grocery store. But a lot of websites have said it's an option, so I'll put it out there. So now that you know how to save money on groceries, it's time for the joke of the day. The joke of the day. J -j -j joke of the day. What, what? Joke, joke, joke. Why did the grocery store workers let the customers decide if they want paper or plastic? because baggers can't be choosers. And then breaking news, Dr. Dre was arrested at the grocery store today. He dropped too many beats. So thanks for watching my videos. Subscribe for daily videos, as well as for the new section of the joke of the day, which everybody loves. Like the video if you liked it, and leave a comment below if you have any comments on the video or any ideas for future videos. Thanks.